Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny, Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike and Yola. Welcome to Tuesday, the 28th day of November 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen to today's prayers and prophetic declarations. Today, I want to pray that the mercy of God will locate you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray that door of mercy will not close, close against you in the name of Jesus. When you see a man whose doors of mercy or whose do, doors of mercy have opened unto, whatever he or she does will always be accurate. So I want to pray for you this morning by the, by the leading of the Spirit of God that your doors of mercy shall open. And if it has opened already, I pray that the power and the grace of God will sustain the doors to remain open for you in Jesus' name. I want to pray for somebody this morning who is hearing me. There's this particular injury that you are nursing, and it has refused to wound, I mean, it has refused to, to heal. Therefore, I am praying that the Lord Jesus, who has the balm of Gilead, will pour his oil on that wound, and within the next few days, it will, it will be completely healed, and dried up in Jesus' name. I am praying for you that every one of us, as we step out today, the God of miracles will visit you, the God of mercy will locate you, and the hand of the Almighty God will rest upon you and your family in Jesus' name. Those of you that are going to be traveling today, I want to pray that the Lord, the Lord will grant you peaceful journey to and fro in Jesus' name. Oh, I want to pray for somebody. You are looking for something, you misplace it, and now you don't even know where it is. I am praying that the Holy Spirit, the great revealer, will lead you to where those items are. I pray you will testify very soon in Jesus' name. Somebody is going to receive a major financial help today. You are going to experience major miracle alert. It will come to you in a very big way and in a surprising way. If you are the person, can you shout Amen? I believe as I receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today, in the continuation of our Bible reading this Tuesday, we are going to be reading the book of 2 Samuel chapter 19 and chapter 20. 2 Samuel chapter 19 and chapter 20. Those are the two chapters we are reading this morning. Please read, as like I always say, read meditatively and God will bless you. Amen. Let me take two or three testimonies this morning as we glorify the God of heaven. The first one said, Daddy, good morning. May God continue to give you utterance for us, your followers and listeners of your messages. On the 29th of September, I testified of God delivering my son and daughter from home and motor accident. Though the testimony have not been shared, but you, glo but you glorify God for it. The same week, being 30th of September, my son, who just graduated from the university and waiting to serve, had accident with my car, and God delivered him. He is alive, and my car was damaged be beyond repair. Car can be replaced, but, car but life cannot be replaced. I thank God of Reverend Eniola, who is the father of the fatherless and husband of the widow, for saving the life of my son. Daddy, may the oil on your head never run dry. Daddy, please share my testimony. I'm so so person from Asaba, Delta State. May God's name be praised. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for that wonderful testimony of God's uh, great deliverance. Another one is here. Good morning, sir. I am from Jaws. Honestly, God used me and my wife to save life. It is good to listen, follow, and obey the instructions from the man of God. As you said, we should give a gift to somebody, and we gave to a widow on the first day of September, without knowing that there was nothing with that widow in our account, even at home, apart from the little token, and the little token saved our life. Please, it's good to follow the Lord's directives. God bless you, sir. Amen. Thank God for that prompt response. Another one. 
What God did for me, it muffled me. My name is Soso Persin from Lagos. I'm an ardent listener of Hour of Destiny, daily devotional. Please, Daddy, share my testimony. This God does not fail his own. They locked our office since last year. So because of that, I could not pay my house rent. Every day, I put it in prayers. I started key into people's testimonies to be able to pay the house rent. Then, on the 20th of September, 2023, I dreamt I was in the village, living in one dirty room. When I woke up from that dream, I was very worried. I prayed and I fasted that God should take control. Two days later, which was 22nd of September, Daddy prophesied that whatsoever the enemy has programmed, that whatever, that whatsoever the enemy has programmed into Daddy to disgrace me will never happen. That 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 day was the day they have call, they have concluded is either I pay my house rent or uh, is either I pay my house rent and stay or they forcefully move me out. Daddy said that shame and embarrassment will not happen. Hallelujah. That God has intervened. I listened to that day's message at past 2 a.m. Immediately daddy prophesied, I got up from my bed, laid on the floor, and I was thanking God because I knew he has taken control of the matter. Uh, past 5 to 6 a.m., my landlady, my landlady came, knocked my door. Immediately I opened my door. She was shouting, abusing me, calling me names to leave her house. And after the while, she left. In less than 30 minutes, she came back again shouting I should move out of her house, that she was going to bring boys to beat me and throw me out of her house. I begged and begged. I, I begged and begged her, but she did not listen. But in all, I am saying thank, I say thank to God that it, it didn't happen as the evil ones prophesied. I mean, planned it. I thank God for his intervention. I know God of that the Allah will see me through and provide for me in all areas. Amen. Thank God for uh, the timely intervention there. May the name of the Lord be praised. Now let's hear the word. Uh, this yesterday, Monday, we began to look at uh, some of the highlights of our just concluded 2023 convention, which was with the team, Restoration. I began to share with us yesterday uh, part of the sharings, part of the teachings and messages of, of that uh, convention. Yesterday, we began to look at uh, one of the messages I preached titled Total or Complete Restoration. I told us yesterday that it is possible to get complete restoration, even though some people go about with restoration that is not complete, with restoration that is half. But God has planned and promised us that we will receive total and complete restoration. So yesterday, I told us that for you to be totally restored, what are the things that you need to do? Number one, you need to get yourself acquainted with God. You can't be an enemy of God and expect him to grant you restoration. If you need restoration from the Lord, then your ways must, must, must please him. The Bible says, it says, if a man's way pleases the Lord, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. I don't know where you are hearing me this morning. May I ask you this question, beloved? What is the relationship between you and God? You can't be his enemy and expect him to fight for you. Yes, he does fight. He fights for his own children. He fights for the people that have joined league and have joined affinity with him. So, if you want God to grant you total restoration, number one, you must be a child of God. Then number two, if you want total restoration, you must recognize the fact that you need it. There are many people hearing me this morning that don't even know that they need restoration in their lives. Or there are some people who don't know that restoration, total restoration is possible. Some go about with some distorted information that certain things cannot be possible. But I'm putting it to you this morning, child of God, it is possible for you to recover all and to be restored to fully. You just need to give your life to Jesus. Then number two, you need to recognize the fact that you need that restoration. And then number three, you need to go to the right source. The woman of Shunem in, the, in, the, in, the, in our scripture, 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 6, 
the woman went to the right place. She went straight to the palace. She had a, she had she had a good relationship with God through the man of God, prophet Elisha. And so she went to the king who she knew could attend to her case. There are many people today, unfortunately, they know that they have problems, but they don't go to the right source. Some go to herbalist. Some go to native doctor. Some go to people that cannot help themselves, not to talk of helping them. So I put it to you this morning. You need total restoration. Give your life to Jesus. Recognize the fact that you need that restoration. Then number two, number three, go to the right person, which is God. God is the one that can grant you total and complete restoration. And I pray for you this morning. The Lord will grant you full restoration in Jesus' name. May the Lord open your doors today. May your heavens remain open. May you not toil in vain in Jesus' name. Please remember to read your Bible this Tuesday, 2 Samuel chapter 19 and chapter 20. 2 Samuel chapter 19 and chapter 20. God bless you till I come your way again. Amen.